Together with the first wildebeest, we see many zebras arriving in the Masai Mara. Zebras eat the longer, tougher grass, which opens up the way for the wildebeest to get to the shorter grass that's rich in nutrients. As compensation, the enormous herds of wildebeest provide protection for the zebras against attackers. It's normally the zebras that go down to the river first. And they have been waiting for this moment. Crocodiles know from experience where the animals will cross the river. Driven by thirst, the exhausted travelers make their way to the water. As long as the crocs are moving, they will be detected in good time. The lions have also taken up their positions and have already had a successful hunt. But it's not enough for the full pride. The lions know exactly which points on the river are the easiest for the zebras and wildebeest to cross. While some of the lionesses keep a watchful eye on the young, others are closely watching out for the arrivals by the river. The lionesses, mostly mothers and daughters, sisters, aunts and nieces, form the hunting party. 